the hay. Just picked up the oh, so down no, on the dance floor. No. When we go buy our cokes. Oh, cool. Yes. Yeah. We had to come here to pick them up. Hey guys, so I wanted to do a video on my most recent marathon and then one of my upcoming races. So I'm going to be doing um, a video on it. I told you guys I was going to do um, updates on races as I do them. And um, I didn't want to wait again like a couple years and then have to do four races on one. So I'm just going to do my recent race, which was the Helvetia Half Marathon. This is the medal. And then on the back it says all the information. It says 2016. Less swab tires, Felicia Half Marathon, and 10K, presented by Oregon Lottery. And then it's got this, and this is probably one of the coolest medals that I've done, gotten. Um, and then, this is my race bib for this year. On this book is not cooperating. I have had dogs. So this is my race bib for this. Oh, it's, it's not taped. So this is my race bib, and I was number twelve, um, sixty-nine, sixty-six. Oh, that's Andrews. Um, <laughs> I was twelve, sixty-six, and then on the back it has this, which calculate how far you're going and on the bottom it has um like a little food ticket drink ticket and then you're off on your number but that's my race um badge and i did my race this year with andrew and um we did three hours we got three hours and some odd on our race I'm going to try and get this because this is the wrong number. Um, we got three hours and we vlogged the whole time. I don't know if you guys um, saw the video. If you didn't, you can go and watch it. <coughs> this is Andrew. And it was a great race this year. It was a little like tough because it wasn't sunny this year. It was actually just kind of like um, cloudy-ish. So it was actually pretty nice. It was like cool weather. And um, it was pretty nice outside. I took a video on every single mile, so I thought that was pretty cool that I got to do a video on every mile. And um, it was so beautiful out there. We saw like a bunch of animals and everything, and we um, got some of those packets like along the race. They give you water, water cups. And then they also, hold on, you also get a bag for participating. Um, out here it's a Fred Meyer's bag because Fred Meyer um, like sponsors them. So at the end of the race you get a bag like this and a medal and you get a water and a little treat. Um, you get like a candy thing and some peanuts. But along the way, out there, you have an option to not only have water, but you have an option to take these. These are like little energy shots. And you get these along the way too. Um, which is pretty cool. Oops. And so, we did that the whole way, and we got up to our three hours, and we did the finish of rice and we ran into the rest of it we walked most of the other part but we ran in at the end and that was awesome and um my mom did it my brother did it too and it was pretty nice and then we had our whole issue burgers so it was pretty cool i had a lot of fun um it was awesome i'm going to insert the clip of each of the mile markers at the end and then i'll also insert the clip of us finishing as well and then when we ran through, we got this, we got our picture taken, got our medal, and the back says all the information. And the front is actually a sunset of on Helvetia. So it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, it was 
really good. It was really well organized. They had like all of our stuff. Miss um, Jenkins, our instructor, actually gets our badges and our um, our bibs and our like bags. Um, so she gets them and she has them in our area. So we don't have to like actually go up to the stand to get them or pick them up. So I don't know what that's like. But it was um, very well organized. They had a nice spot for our tent. And we had all of our Wimby Fit people there. And we signed in. And we did a cheer. And we did some pictures. And then we went off to the start line. And there's um, a really amazing singer there who sung the national anthem. And they had a drone take a picture of everybody. And then they started. And they had balloon arches. And they had music. And they had drummer guys along the way. And they had water over station, which was really good. It wasn't hot, so they didn't have sprinklers. Um, but it was very well organized. So. Thank you, Hood to Coast Race Series, for making it a very good experience for my sixth year. <laughs> Next year is my seventh. I'm really excited. All right. So all of that aside, um, for some reason this does not want to shut. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put this behind me, and I'm going to put my middle as well. I'm going to be running a race on Saturday. I've said it in my vlog before, but I got my bib today for the um, Les Schwab Tire Red, White, and Blues run. It's a 10k. This is my number, 6515. And as I said, this is like the number ticket and the, this is the barefoot refresher thing for people who drink alcohol. And then you get a hot dog at the end for running race. So this is my bib. I picked that up today. I picked up this bag today. They gave me this bag when I picked up my um, race stuff. They gave me my shirt for the race, which is so cool. So this is what it looks like. This is the front. It has like fireworks and red, white, and race. And then of course, all the sponsors in the back, but I love the front. I think it's so cool. And then they gave us all these goodies. So they gave me a water, animal crackers, a cliff thingy, two uh, a cliff bar and a luna bar, peanuts. Uh, honey barbecue. And then they also gave me this really cool bottle opener too. Um, it's a bottle opener keychain. It's a session bottle opener keychain. So they gave that to me too. So you get all these goodies and then you get a t-shirt and you get that when you pick up your race information. I've never been to this race before. This is my very first non-Liberty Fit race. And I keep saying that and some people are like, I don't know what that means. I've explained before in a couple of my videos what, now I can't get this back. I've explained in a couple of my videos what the Ray Fit is. It's a non-profit organization that helps kids in high school, adults, community members, and teachers come together to exercise and work out together in training for the Holy Strap Marathon. And we also do a Falcon 15K as a fundraiser to get enough money to buy entries for the students who are there all the time to do the Hellblade Show. So Liberty Fit's races are the Falcon 15K and Hellblade Show Marathon. So I've only done those two for the past six years. I've done the Falcon 15K and I've done Hellblade Show. And I've never done a race like just my family, not in the Liberty Fit group and not run by Liberty Fit or Liberty Fit is a part in association with it. So I'm really excited to run this race because it's my first non-Liberty Fit race and my whole family is doing it besides my dad. And it's my first, like, it's just a 10K but it's my first race that's non-Liberty Fit so I'm excited. Um, and Hullish isn't run by Liberty Fit but that's our main, that's what we're practicing for. And then pretty good, so that's what I mean by it. it's a Liberty Fit race. Um, so this, you know, I've been doing training on my own with my mom and my brother and my um, and my fiance. And so I'm really excited. This is like my first non-race, you know, non-Liberty Fit race. So I'm really excited. And uh, I plan on doing a lot more of them. I want to do at least like, I want to do a couple.
couple on. Um, my next one I want to do is the color run in September. So I really, really want to do that. So I think me and Andrew and my mom are going to do the color run. Um, so that'll be another fun race. And then uh, try to fit in another one along there. Because I want to just do other races besides the Halicia and the Falcon 15K. Because I have never done any other races, as I said. I've only done the Hobo Shop Marathon and Falcon 18K for six years, and I'm like, I want to do other races like my brother, too. Oh, and the all-important pins. They gave me pins for my shirt. I had a fourth one, and I not have there it is. So, I'm so excited. I'm going to have to pin it. Oh, and then I got a bag. I mean, the bag is also fun. I'm excited, and I'm going to pin my bib onto my shirt. And we're going to take a team photo of me and my family. This is my shirt. It's cool. I'm going to get probably a little dressed up. Like, maybe wear, like, my tights and, um, a skirt, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, depends on how patriotic I want to be. And it's for the 4th of July, so I'm really excited about that, too. Um, I think I'm going to take this with me to have on the race. Because these really help if you're a runner or you're like a first time runner and um i would take these i would recommend taking these because these really help me these are really good it's like just a little it's like getting a little food in you know getting food in your body without having to actually like you know um stop and eat something because while these are good it's hard personally for me to eat these while um walking and you know, running because it's like messy this is so simple and um it has this one has caffeine in it this is the local one i like the melon one but these are really good and this is my first time getting a bottle opener with my thing and i've needed one of these so i'm excited so this is all the stuff i'm really excited and also with the helvetia you get a helvetia burger with falco 15k you get mac and cheese so that's what I'm used to when I race is either mac and cheese or a burger. So hot dog. That's exciting. It's by Little Cooperstown Hot Dogs. So hopefully that's good and I'm really excited. So I will update you guys and do a separate video on this race after I've ran it. And it will be in my vlogs on my Instagram, on my Twitter, and on my Facebook and Facebook fan page. If you would like to follow all of them, the links are in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, little stars. Mom, a shot, Mom. Someone's got to beat Andrew. Two miles done. Two miles. What do you mean? Oh, Michigan told me that I could, I could take roots with me if I wanted. I wanted to show the three miles. We kept running this three way. Three miles, Daddy. And we went right through the field. And there we go. Turn right. Thank you. Turn right. He does sound, it does sound Here comes pretty. four. Four miles down. Doesn't feel like we've done four miles. Only nine to go. At this point, I don't know if I feel like I've done more or less. Four. Oh, there's gonna be a thing. Yay. There we go. Bye. Which one's dear to The very next one? See, I told you we didn't miss it. There it is. I feel like you're just saying that. Well, Six. Mile five about. Here we go. Here's seven. Mile seven. Seven years I've done this. This is the farthest I've gotten. Liar. One mile each year. And I've made it. 
really good. Train tracks? But we have those. Now, is there actually a train on it, or is it like where we live? Where no, there's... it's an actual train. Because oh. where we live, there's train tracks, but there's no train there. Not for years. Yep. The best I can with going 13 miles and trying to block. Hey, so if they're up, go. there's nine. Ten. Switch. Ten. How you feeling, Andrew? Well, uh, I'm feeling good. And start heading back if we hit 12. Yeah. There's 11. Stretch, man. You want to stop and stretch too, or do you want to keep going? Yeah, I guess. Huh? Yeah. Trying to.